All right. Been working on my hammerhead over here, and for some odd reason, I had the phone upside down and it recorded me upside down. So I am going to redo this part of the video. Um, but I spent um, last night, I went out and took the carburetor off, and um, it's no big deal. Uh, But uh, I took the tank off, and uh, up inside that petcock, it was all clogged with uh, rust and stuff and bad shitty gas. And I took it all apart, and I had to change the O-ring in there to, uh, that thing was messed up. I think somebody over-tightened it when they put it in, back on, because I think somebody tried to repair it or something. But, uh... <clears throat> but I cleaned it all up, got that thing situated now. Um, I took the carburetor off. Um, the uh, carburetor on the when getting the carburetor off was not hard, um, but the underneath the carburetor where the what bowl is, they had it's. I was looking at it, and it's come from Japan. It's a Japanese carburetor um so the the under on the float bowl underneath there's they look like rivets so i had to grind the slots in the rivets to unscrew the bowl that was kind of a, that was kind of fun and got them off and i didn't want to reuse them but i actually found some screws that fit in the bottom of the carburetor but the um the main jet was clogged all the little holes were clogged up and everything and so in the the uh, idler jet was clogged so everything in there got cleaned up and everything so i cleaned everything up didn't mess with much else on the carburetor i just figured it was just clogged and underneath where there's a vacuum line i think on the bottom there's there's a line i don't know if it's vacuum line or drain line but there was a screw on the bottom of the, in the float bowl that was clogged it were there was there's settlement down in there it was hard I had to take a pick and pick it off but the carburetor's back on um, I got a new uh, fuel filter I don't know how good it's gonna work this one red one here so I'm getting ready to put the the gas tank back on um, but the uh, clutch on this, I mean the, the box on here, I had to drill the box out, get the, the, the screws out, get the, the box off, it was kind of messed up. So I'm basically going to um, cover those holes and maybe just zip tie or on there to hold it down. I uh, pulled all the wires in that are in there down here this is the the uh, handbrake for the rear it goes back to the rear brake um, and that go and the rear brake is missing the caliper the caliper is missing a bolt so I got to take the rear tire off back there and I don't know I think this thing's froze up so I'm gonna have to take that off eventually and, and uh, take take it apart and see if I can unfreeze it and then the the cable is frayed here so I'm going to try to attempt to uh, pull some more cable out and reattach it on here to that this uh, bolt here where it connects up no big deal but uh, everything looks in pretty decent shape I'm going to take the uh, valve cover off and adjust the valves and get it on top dead center so make sure the timing is, on, timing is right on it. Um, but the, uh, I don't know if you can see it, the, uh, the bracket for the, this is all messed up. You can see it moving. See, it was, it's missing a bolt. That's the rear brake caliper. 
So, just got a few things to do to it. I'm gonna do that. And let's take the tire off. Four bolts there. So it's in fairly good, fairly good shape. We'll see. Cleaned everything up, cleaned all the fuel lines out and everything. Got the fuel filter I'm getting on there. So should be ready to roll here in a day or two. Okay. But I did test the spark. There is plenty of spark. I took the spark plug wire and taped it all up. It was kind of kind of messed up. But when I went to went um, yesterday, I turned it over with the battery over here. Hooked it up to that battery. The, the battery that came in there that was in there was completely dead. So I get a new battery. But I hooked the battery, this battery, up to it and, and tried to check the spark, you know, and I got shocked. So I know there's, so I hooked it, so I got it hooked up, grounded it, and it fucking, the, there's plenty of spark. So I know there's spark coming out of there. And it's just a matter of getting it back together, tidying it up, and then get the seats back in. <laughs> Seat belts were kind of fucked up on it, so and this one's this driver's seat is kind of the lever was sticking, so I gotta go in here and WD-40 it, you know, get it loosened up. And these are the bolts that were bolt to the bot the bottom i don't know if it's missing two bolts but it's the only way it's just hooked up the two bolts i'll slide it into a slot here right here these two slots here slides in and then you bolt it right here in these two holes pretty easy and then that that there is for one of the seat belts yeah. And the seatbelt is, I don't know what the hell happened to the seatbelt. I don't know if they ran over it or whatever. But I'm going to have to get a new set of seatbelts for it. But other than that, I had to clean it out. It's full of leaves, a little rusty. I'm going to paint it, clean it out real good, and then paint it. Stick the pads back in there, make it look nice. But I cleaned up the front end. <laughs> it was pretty nasty. But, uh, I could, could need some more. And the splendor is not too awfully bad. But I'm going to end up probably painting them. You know, if I get the decals off and repaint these, this thing. This one's kind of kind of chipped up. I mean, it's actually... Some of, the, some of the stickers are coming off. I might see if I can get some new stickers for it. So, as the front brakes, I don't even know. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take all the tires off, take the calipers off, and drain all the the brake fluid in there. You know, put some new, free it all up. The brakes working, so. And we got side mirrors. And all the lights work, by the way. So, speedometer, horn. I didn't try the horn, but I didn't, I didn't get it to work. So, I'm just going to have to check the electrical out. Well, that's all.